Hello everyone, this is Aya and in today's video I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful spring project DIY. <laughs> and for this project I'm going to use Graphic 45 paper collection and this one called Bird Watcher. And these papers are stunning. Look at the flowers, the birds, the shades of pinks and blues and yellows. Gorgeous. So here is, you know, a quick flip through at the papers. And here is the uh, birdhouse that I'm going to alter. And now it's time to fussy cut some birds and some eggs and flowers. Do you see my cup of tea? Have eye on it. Okay. So for the bird house, uh, you can first start by gesso or primer, but I will just go with the same color, this brown and black. Uh, the gesso will help you, you know, use more acrylic paint and build up your colors. But I would like to have um, the same look, like a rustic, realistic look for the bird house. So I removed the attached wall. You can paint it, but I'm going, you know, to trace it. I use this stylist and this tool um, meant for uh, for shaping flowers. You can simply just use a pencil. And I'm going to cut it, then adhere it to the attached wall. So I'm using this liquid glue. Yeah. It wasn't cooperating with me. There is a step here if you would like to, you know, distress the edges with, you know, a darker shade of uh, of uh, blue you can but since this will be you know in the back of the birdhouse so it will not be you know I mean no one can see it okay so now to cover the birdhouse I use this acrylic paint glitter acrylic paint but it turned to be clear I don't know I have a problem that I don't read the names of the products I'm using <laughs> anyway so I use this uh, blue acrylic paint and I try you know to pick up um, a shade of, blue, a shade of blue that matches, you know, my background. So I'm going to spread the paint. I know it doesn't look good, but uh, just give me one minute and I will give you a trick. So to make the paint look really cool and texture, use a sponge. Here I'm using a sponge, uh, you know, for blending inks. I have extra, I have a lot of these. So, so there is one dedicated for paint, but when you, you know, finish, you know, adding the texture, uh, wash it very, you know, very fast because uh, when it dries, it dries really hard like rock. Now, and also I'm going to paint the edges for the birdhouse. Same thing, first spreading the color, then second adding texture uh, by using this sponge. You can use a sponge foam or anything that has, you know, texture. Now I have all the flowers, so I'm going to arrange them first to see where I can fit the flowers because they are different in sizes. So before I adhere anything, we'll try, you know, to play around and see where I'm going to place each flower. that I cleaned my brush using my tea. 
and uh, I'm lucky enough, you know, to realize this very fast before I drink it, then I will end up in the ER. Back to the burnt house. So I'm using wax in a blue shade, blue dark shade. So I know I'm going to add it all around the edges. Uh, so when you look, you know, at uh, the bird house, you will see this glossy finish popping um, everywhere. You can see uh, the glitter that I used it in the beginning. You can see underneath because it was clear and also the acrylic paint I used it also, um, I would I not say transparent, like semi-transparent, but um, it really gives really a uh, cool texture. Also, I'm using uh, pink uh, wax, but I don't want to add a lot because anyway, I have all my, my flowers, you know, in a pink. It's not a pink, it's like orangey, red, orange um, colors. Now I'm going to use the glue gun to arrange my flowers. It's easy and quick and fast. <laughs> Now, uh, okay, now let's work on inside uh, the birdhouse. And I should have been started from inside to outside, but you know, I'm learning from my mistakes. Uh, so I use this uh, real grass, let's say. I mean, it smells really real. I bought it from, um, I don't know, either Michael or Joanne. Um, it's really cool. It has like this really realistic, <laughs> I mean, realistic look and also the smell. Here I'm just going, you know, to uh, bend uh, my leaves uh, so it can, you know, stand without, you know, hurting my flowers or get, you know, crumbled together. So the idea, I would like to add like a bird and a nest and an eggs inside the bird house. So as if this bird is protecting her nest that is, you know, full of eggs so i die cut some eggs and i added um and i glued uh, ice cream you know sticks uh, behind the bird and behind the egg so it can you know stand if i wanted you know the egg to stand or you know like they have like a support so i don't want you know to be just flat um eggs just you know glowing to a grass so I have this nest also, this also from Michael's or Joanne, one of them. Uh, and I'm going to uh, glue it inside the birdhouse and I'm going to add the eggs. That's why I added, you know, um, you know, sticks behind the egg and behind the bird. Now it's time to add some texture also to the bird house. So I added like um, a gel, a strong gel medium and the remaining grass, I'm going to spread it, you know, in a random way um, on the top of the bird house. And last but not least, I'm going to add, I'm going to sprinkle some crushed glass. 
and here we go we have a very beautiful fun spring project i hope you like it um, please give this video a like and write for us a comment in the comment section thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you next time bye